That's right. This legislation does not protect women who got pregnant as a result of rape or incest. It will now head to the governor's desk. He says he's planning on signing it. Lawmakers, they grew very emotional throughout the day, some even sharing stories of their mother having them at a young age. But there was a choice. She gave me up, and I'm here in front of you all, and I'm trying to figure out why the Lord has let me come this far. But I just want to share that with you. And regardless of what decision you vote on, just search your heart. At several times, lawmakers were seen shouting and not holding back. How dare you? Tell a nine year old, a 10 year old, 11 year old, or 12 year old that they're supposed to carry a baby for an uncle, a father, a nephew, or someone in their family that's taking advantage of them. How dare you? Some saying it's a woman's body and she should have the right to choose. Lawmakers tried to amend the bill, making it an exception for women who got pregnant as a result of rape or incest, but those changes were voted down. Who are you to tell women what they can and cannot do with their bodies? Mr. Speaker, I object to this language and to these men trying to make laws telling women what to do with their bodies. Do we have a right to come here and make laws that protect human life? Absolutely we do. It is not the mother's life that is destroyed by abortion. It is the baby. 79 yeas, 23 nays. The bill's finally passed. And while the governor says he is going to sign this bill, it's important to note that it's only going to take effect if a federal appeals court upholds a similar law in Mississippi. In Baton Rouge, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.